Hey guys, welcome to Reverse a String. In this video, I will teach you how to reverse a string in JavaScript. If you have not watched the first video, I recommend that you do that right now. Uh, just go uh, leave this video, come back to it later. Uh, the first video tells you how to uh, how I set up the environment for this video series, and I just talk about the very, very basics of JavaScript functions. Um, if you're totally new and know nothing, stop right now, go to the first video. Uh, if you know a little bit about JavaScript, and if you've already watched the first video, then great. Let's just jump right into it. So, in the uh, first video, um, I'm sorry, in this first JavaScript challenge, if you go to freecodecamp.com, and if you go to the basic JavaScript challenges, this is the very first one. It's called uh, reverse a string. It's really simple. All you have to do is take a string and reverse it and make sure that you return it as a string. So uh, just to let you know what I'm doing here, I've got my JavaScript function for this lesson. I'm calling it one underscore reverse dot JS. And I'm going to be embedding it into um, an HTML file called example. Um, and if you have already cloned uh, the repo, um, make sure that you just uh, change this line here on line 11. Um, you want it to be the file name of the JavaScript file we're working on. In this case, one underscore reverse.js. So just save that. Um, and then we can jump into the code. And I'm going to be uh, using Google Chrome uh, and their JavaScript console. So just go to Chrome and Developer, and here's the console right there. Okay, so now we're all set. Let's get coding. Uh, all right, so we're going to start with a function. We call it a reverse string. Oops, camel case. I'm going to give it one argument. We'll call that argument str. Okay, and we'll write our code here in just a moment. And we'll have to reverse, uh, sorry, we'll have to invoke or call the function right here. And we'll give it a string. We'll call it hello okay, in a semicolon. So uh, remember, uh, you're going to have to um, return, um, use a return statement for all of your free code challenges. So uh, let's just say, um, let's just say, you know, return result right now. And um, if you run this, you should get an error, okay, because, okay, result is not defined. All right, so that's expected. Okay, cool. So first thing I want to do, uh, I want to convert this string, hello, into an array. And I'm going to create in a variable, a variable called array. Uh, and I'm going to say str split. Okay. And split, uh, basically, it's a method. It's a string method. It takes a string and it converts it into an array. So um, if I just um, do something really quickly here, okay. uh, I'm just going to say console log. Okay. Okay. Right. So I just want to log out. Um, I'm gonna log out what that does. Okay, so basically, here's our string. Gets represented by str, and I'm saying uh, variable array is str with the split method, and I'm returning the array. And so there we have it. It's an array of uh, five letters. Okay. So if you're new to JavaScript arrays, that's what it looks like. All right, so next thing I want to do, I want to uh, call the reverse method, okay? So right now, array is, is this string that we passed in, and it's split up, so now it's an array. And I'm going to say array.reverse, just like that, okay? And unfortunately, there was no reverse method for strings. There's only a reverse method for arrays. But if I save that and go to the console, Oh, look at it. It's still an array, but now it is um, reversed. So we have Olay. But in Free Code Camp, they want us to return a string. So if we did this right now, it would not pass their uh, test. So 
let's just do something else. We'll say var result equals array dot join. Okay. And basically join takes an array and converts it into a string. So if we return the result variable now, instead of the array variable, would you look at that? We got the Olay string. And actually, uh, you know, if you just play around with these uh, arguments, you know, you can uh, you can see how, like, uh, if I add some different characters in here, the output is going to be a little bit different. Um, if I come up here and uh, and I remove the L, if I put the L in there, you can see some interesting things happening. But for this solution, just pass in some empty strings to the split and join method, and you will get the desired result. Now, this is very good. Uh, this, this will work, and this will pass the free code camp uh, uh, test. Um, however, uh, I don't really like it because it is four lines, and uh, we can reduce this into a single line using something known as method chaining. So let's just do that right now. All right. Um, I'm just going to start with the return statement. Okay. And there's str. Let's make it into an array. So split, pass in an empty string. Now, instead of going to a new line like I did before, I'm just going to call a method right on this. Okay. So um, if I save that, look, I get the reversed uh, array like we had before. So basically, um, I've got string, and we're splitting it, thus turning it into an array. And this array is the input for the next method, which is reverse. So I'm ch just chaining methods together, um, and that saves me a whole bunch of lines. And now to finish it off, I add the join method right there. And there we have it, same thing. So this works um, just like before, but instead of having four lines, I'm doing it in one. And I'm not creating different variables or anything like that. I, I didn't create the variable array or the variable result. Uh, I just used the return statement, and uh, it just takes the string, hello, and just simply sends it down a pipeline. Uh, this is one way to solve this problem, but uh, you can solve it in many other ways. This is probably the easiest way to do it, um, but you could also use something like recursion. Um, you could use um, other array methods and iterate through each letter uh, of the um, uh, 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 of the string. Uh, so anyway. This is not like the one and only solution, and I actually encourage you to go out there and try to find other uh, solutions to this problem uh, if you if you want to. Uh, okay, so this is reversing a string in JavaScript. Uh, you learned how to do method chaining. You learned that the split method takes a string and makes it into an array. The reverse method reverses the items in an array. And we can use the join method on arrays to uh, convert them back into strings. And uh, if you play around with the arguments in here, that will alter uh, the result as well. Okay, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.